Stephen Colbert is cracking jokes about replacing Letterman, and a famous rapper flexes his funny bone with Jimmy Kimmel. Here's Brad Smith with the Late Night Laughs. Please welcome Drake, everybody. The Toronto rapper is warming up for his upcoming gig as host of the ESPY Awards with some help from Jimmy Kimmel. Only there's a twist. We disguise you. We sent Drake out on the Hollywood Boulevard to ask pedestrians what they think about Drake. Yeah. How do you feel about Drake? Don't like him. Uh, he says that he came from the bottom, which most likely he didn't. Started from the bottom, now my whole team here. Do you feel any way about Drake crying at the ESPYs? He's a chicken head. A chicken head. Are you a Drake fan? No. What would you say to Drake if Drake was here right now? If Drake was here right now? Oh my God! That just happened. I do not envy whoever they try to put in that chair. Hilarious and humble host Stephen Colbert kicked off his rapport with the big news. He'll be taking over the reins at The Late Show from David Letterman. I learned more from watching Dave than I did from going to my classes. <laughs> Especially the ones I did not go to because I had stayed up until 1.30 watching Dave. Unlike his current role, the comedian won't be in character at his new gig. His Colbert Report contract runs until the end of the year. Perfect timing to take over The Late Show sometime in 2015. This is pretty incredible. The stars of The Amazing Spider-Man 2 swung into London for the film's world premiere, where Emma Stone dished about sharing the screen with her real-life squeeze, Andrew Garfield. He's just an amazing actor. I always feel like I'm learning something, so it's good. As for the storyline, don't expect any spoilers from Spider-Man himself. I, I, I wish that people could just go to the movies and still have the story unfold. That's how, that's how I like going to the movies. I made a choice. This is my path. I'm Spider-Man. Catch Spidey on the big screen, May 2nd. Draft Day. History in the making. Kevin Costner plays an NFL GM in Draft Day. The actor and I bonded over what else but football. I used to play professional football. And this is the thing, you have the GM vernacular down to a T. You were every general manager I ever had, it was great. That's cool. The cameras have been finding their way into the locker rooms the last 25 years because of ESPN. So I understand the sports and the jocularity that has to go back and forth, the vulgarity that can <laughs> yeah. be there, and kind of the thing you got to say to somebody to just get them up. I quit, Sonny. Don't quit. See what I do from here. You're going to like this. You're a pretty great audience for this. Did you feel the momentum going against Sonny for a while and then all of a sudden it started to change. I remember what it was like for me to be drafted. But did you feel his plight as yeah. a character suddenly it was just bearing down on him? And was it surprising to you that, it, that, that so much tension could come out of a movie? It was surprising that you could feel that way about somebody being picked. I think that's the miracle of movies sometimes. It's like, how could we get to where we suddenly are emotionally involved? Draft Day is now in theaters. And coming up later in The Five, film critic Leslie James has his review of Draft Day, plus all the other flicks that are hitting the theater this weekend. Entertainment City, brought to you by Fallsview Casino Resort in Niagara Falls, the place you want to be.